as we move into Unit 6, we're looking at early, the early 20th century in Georgia. There are two standards that we're going to be covering in this unit. The first is Standard 8. The student will analyze the important events that occurred after World War I and their impact on Georgia. After World War I, Americans celebrated the victory throughout the nation. This era is known as the Roaring Twenties. Many Americans listened to jazz, danced the Charleston, and invested and hit it big in the stock market. However, these good times were not happening for most Georgians. Primarily a rural state, Georgia was suffering through one of the worst droughts in its history. Additionally, a tiny insect called the boll weevil was devastating Georgia's most important crop, cotton. While Georgia was suffering through a mini depression during the 1920s, after the stock market crash of 1929, Ameri the American Great Depression hit the nation hard throughout the next decade. Georgia, already suffering from the effects of the drought and the boll weevil, experienced more hard times during the Great Depression. In 1933, part-time Georgia resident Franklin Roosevelt became president. President Roosevelt and his brain trust developed several New Deal programs that directly affected Georgia. However, Georgia's governor Eugene Talmadge was against the interference of the federal government in state policies and fought against the New Deal programs. Interestingly, both Roosevelt and Talmadge, even though they were at opposite ends of the political spectrum, were both very popular among Georgians, and the voters of the state helped elect them in their respective positions for four terms. The second standard is Standard 9. The student will describe the impact of World War II on Georgia's development economically, socially, and politically. World War II had a major impact on the state of Georgia. While suffering through the Great Depression, many Georgians watched with interest or fear about the events that were taking place in Europe and Asia. Hitler's Nazi party had risen to power during the 1930s and sparked another world war with the 1939 attack on Poland. In the Pacific, Japan was focused on China, though Americans began to realize that they may set their sights on other islands in the Pacific, including American territories. Though America was technically neutral during the first years of the war, Roosevelt was lending military aid to Great Britain. America finally officially entered the war with the bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. As with World War I, once war was declared, Georgians sprang into action. Many Georgians fought and died in the Army, Navy, and Marines. The military camps that were in the state became bases due to the large influx of military men and material. Georgians also became more industrialized as Bell Aircraft Company started, during, started building bombers and the Navy shipyards in Brunswick and Savannah built Liberty ships to aid in the war effort. Toward the end of the war, Georgia began to learn about the Holocaust and the horrific events that took place in Europe. Some of the survivors made their way to the United States and to Georgia to live, and they told their stories. The unspeakable evil of the Holocaust led some Georgians to reevaluate their own racial policies and beliefs. Finally, in 1945, popular president and adopted Georgian Franklin Roosevelt died at his home, the Little White House, in Warm Springs, Georgia. Roosevelt developed some of his New Deal programs, especially for rural farmers based on his experiences in the state. Roosevelt's death led to great mourning in Georgia and the rest of the United States. The man who was president during the Great Depression and World War II was gone. So, the purpose for this unit and what you're supposed to gain from this. There are three things we look at. What should you know, do, and understand? The first thing that you should know is the impact of the boll weevil and the drought on Georgia after World War I. You should be able to explain the causes of the Great Depression. You should be able to discuss the political career of Eugene Talmadge, the four New Deal programs that impacted Georgia. You should be able to describe the impact of the event leading to our involvement in World War II. And you should also be able to evaluate the importance of Georgia's military bases and the role played by Carl Benson and Richard Russell. 
And finally, you should be able, you should understand the impact of the Holocaust on Georgians and how that will lead into attitudes toward the civil rights movement. Now that you know what you're expected to do and understand for this unit, you're ready to move into lesson one.